Alrighty, good morning everybody. We got another early one today. The link is out and we are live. Let me know if you can hear me. Obviously. Broncos kick off in six minutes. Somehow Oregon State won, and then how the fuck did Baylor lose? Like, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Turn myself up a bit, or the music down. Yeah, the music will go away, or go down in a second. But you can hear me. Okay. First off, can I become the all-time leader... In SFA wins. Sim the game. Yes, sir. Let's go. Number 53. Nut, nut, nut. Randy Watson, Keaton Mitchell. Heimlich Heisenberg. Randy Watson again. You already know. Two, I got locked out of the, uh, the CCG, though, because Old Dominion won, so that sucks. Um, alrighty, so we're going to get right into it. Let me pull up Bear Cave here phone all right so can memphis complete the undefeated season where is he at Are we all the way down here memphis at utsa heads tails receiver kick dog water let me know heads tails receiving kick Oh yeah, so we got a uh, bottom line. San Diego State can still make a CCG. We got Memphis today, so throwing out some old ads. Um, oh baby, you're in the Alamo Dome. You don't want to be here, especially when you're trying for an undefeated season. But look at those unis. This is technically a user versus user game. And look at SMU, dude. All five losses in conference. That's just disgusting. Flame is leaving. Flame, you can still make the, the playoff, though. You can still make the playoff. You only have three losses. All you need to do is beat Arkansas. This game this week did not matter. Alright, so he wanted heads. And he wanted kick. Bro, the, uh, Kansas State is 11 and 1. What do you mean? All right, first quarter. Can Memphis do it? 3-0. UTSA always plays well in the Alamo Dome, but a 10-0 start here. UTSA responds with 3. You got to think this could be get ugly. A quick touchdown there. They respond though. All righty, so only up 10 at half. Next quarter. Uh, back and forth here. Memphis scores. One quarter left until he's undefeated. Another touchdown. And that's going to pretty much do it. Five minutes to go. We're just going to go end game here. 43 and that does it. Memphis is... So we're guaranteed now. Actually, no. I can't guarantee anything until the uh, until the Tulane game. Well, let's take a look. Ivory scores. Le'Veon Bell, a 98-yard run. Start Le'Veon Bell, goddammit. Another Le'Veon... Another... Oh, my God. Does this mean Brandon Thomas got hurt? One, two, three. <laughs> Wait. 
bro, bro, bro. If Brandon Thomas got hurt, we may see a Le'Veon Bell in the playoff. What am I watching? Let's look at the stats. Good day for Henny God. Brandon Thomas only had five carries. 179, three tutties. Le'Veon Bell popping off in his senior year. That's the way you want to see him. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. If Brandon Thomas gets hurt, Le'Veon Bell just showed you he is more than capable. A 98-yard run, even against UTSA, is very impressive. And he gets player of the game. What if he got player of the game on both sides? That would have been crazy. You're stabbing the team doctor in the lung. All right, so Memphis... Only you could be mad about having a uh, uh, being undefeated. Alrighty, so no gameplay to start. Let's go. All right, next up we got UAB and Arkansas State. This is a user versus user game. Um, Arkansas State is active, UAB is not. But winner gets a bowl game. That's why this one was. Uh, was chosen today. They just won by 33, I believe. I believe it's 43 to 10. So he covered. Ooh, look at Arkansas State Unis. Yes, sir. Some fun bell action. UAB made the playoff last year. Now they're struggling for a bowl game. They this is this could be Dominique Easley's last career game. They got Connor Cook at quarterback. Next quarter. Who's going to get out to a good start? All right, Arkansas State. UAB responds. Also, UAB has Eddie Lacy, who is from the original draft class. So UAB taking an early lead. This is pretty close. All right. They're up by six. Arkansas takes the lead. UAB, they get the two-pointer. Tie ball game. Oh man, we're going back and forth. Who is getting a bowl game? If you guys didn't see, uh, Houston went to double overtime for a bowl game and he lost. So, 45-45 here. Oh, I do need to change time limits, but we got 52-52 here. All right, can Connor Cook? will lead UAB to a bowl game. Connor Cook is an SFA player at quarterback. He's James Power at the tight end, and I believe... I don't know if that's Eddie Lacy. I do not think so. No. Eddie Lacy is the second running back. Fun belts popping off. High scoring. They still have all three timeouts, running like a pro-style offense. And, dude, this uh, this defense just swarming. All right, it's going to force Connor Cook to throw it. Connor Cook, who committed to Vanderbilt and then transferred to UAB after his freshman season. He's going to throw it. Come on, Connor Cook. All right, throws it, and that's not going to be a first down. They have to go for it here. Connor Cook has six passing TDs today. He's kind of popping off. Connor Cook throws it, and he converts. So Mario Rudolph, this is pretty much the same receiving core that was in the uh, playoff with. And 
looks like the Broncos kicked off and apparently they went three and out. Connor Cook. Connor Cook. Okay. Finds Ryan Davis again. Dogwater, don't uh, don't hate on greatness. Connor Cook's lead, leading this drive. Come on, Connor Cook. Yes, time. There you go. So yeah, so this offense is pretty much the same team as last year, except without Rex Burkhead and Tom Savage. And that's really the difference. Yeah, dude, this command's popping off. Now, I need to change the time. I still have it on game day time, so that's why. Oh, and that's caught. No, incomplete. That was a laser. Connor Cook's arm's about to fall off today. But yeah, I, I forgot to change it to seven minutes, so that's why this one's kind of going crazy. Connor Cook. Connor Cook, and he gets sacked, bro. You can't do that. Third and 19. They got to hurry it up now. They only have one timeout. They're calling 98 Weasel. That's four verts. And he dumps it off to the running back. He breaks a tackle and goes out of bounds. 14 seconds left, fourth and 14. You have time to do, I guess, one play before throwing it to the end zone. From the 30 yard line, they're two for two on fourth down. Can Arkansas State go to a bowl game? He dumps it and that's just, that's just horrific. Can't be doing that. And that's gonna be ball game as long as they, they just have to Kneel it out and is in. <laughs> UAB will not. Uh, bro, why are you calling timeouts? It's in that play. F you. Yeah. Arkansas State to a bowl. Yep, so some user is going to have to face him. Lane Hatcher. So this is indeed the final game for Dominique Easley. Let's take a look, see if he got any stats. Connor Cook went off. Dominique Easley in his final career game. Five tackles for loss, no sacks. What a beast. Led that team to the semifinals last season. See, that's why I don't just promote people. Like, they're in the Sun Belt and they don't even make a bowl. Imagine what they would have done in the SEC. Like, you gotta do something special to get promoted. Because, like, that's why I don't like, honestly, if for ECU, I don't really want to get promoted. Because then I'm just going to be stuck being shit. Alright, let me change time. So we don't see six touchdowns. All right, who is next? We got Tulane at Louisiana. So Coach Dirty Bird could pretty much screw over the entire group of five today. If they beat Tulane and then Tulane beats Memphis next week, so Dirty Bird, if you're here, let me know. Kick or receive. You can't kick, pick the coin toss. Memphis wants a big 12. Eh. <coughs> Alright, Derrick Williams. Last time he's on Bear Cave, he got cooked to lose to Memphis. A win for Tulane guarantees another group of five is in the is in the playoff. Number 
13. Alright, I don't see any dirty birds, so... Just do normal kick. First quarter, Tulane gets three. Okay, Louisiana. They got they must have gotten a turnover, it looks like. So Louisiana takes an early lead. Louisiana goes up seven. It's a tie ball game now. There's Tulane though. Louisiana comes back. Oh boy, we got another uh we got another barn burner here. And Louisiana takes the lead. Tulane quickly responds, and they go up three. Oh, man. Fourth quarter. Tied at 27. Tulane does nothing with it. Louisiana does nothing with it. Tulane goes ahead and scores. And we're going to jump in here. Nidare Finley is in the backfield. Fulton is still starting here. Yes, guaranteed auto bid because then the winner of the Conference USA Championship will have one or less loss, so it will be guaranteed. Reggie Fulton, he's took over as the starter as their quarterback went down. Louisiana is guaranteed a bowl game here, so this uh, result really doesn't matter, honestly. But Nider Finley takes the handoff. No, it's a fake. And that was dangerous. Very dangerous. He has the back. Uh, this Fulton guy is ridiculous. He has a three-fourth sleeve, and then he has the elbow uh, stickers. Come on, hand it to Nider. No, Nider. Okay, that was the worst throw ever, and Nider just completely Justin missed in pass protection, gave up a free rusher. <laughs> oh no. Alright, fourth and three. Honestly, if I'm Louisiana, just hand it off to Nider Finley. Win or lose on your best offensive player. They fake the end around. They throw it, and he caught it this time. Another ducky stiff arms a man. Kyron Lacey down the sideline. Oh, boy. It's getting spicy now. Can Reggie Fulton do this? We definitely need to raise Nider Finley's pass protection. He's so bad. All right, he's going out and on route. He called for the ball. Nider Finley, he gets, nine, he gets eight. As my dad texts me that Russell Wilson throws a pick. Damn it, Russell Wilson. All right, Fulton, second and two. They're getting close to a tutty. Oh my, that was close. Cavarius Hall. Come on, Louisiana. Louisiana has not been that great at home this season. But none of that matters now. Can they knock off Tulane and go to seven and five? Fulton takes it himself. He gets past the man and he slides to the five with a minute remaining. Oh boy, is Louisiana gonna tie this game up? Come on, Tulane, hold. Finley, Nidare Finley scores the tutty. Five-star freshman. Gets this team back in it. Let's go. Where's the targeting? <laughs> and what? Yo, ho, ho. Hold up. What did they just do to my kicker? Look at this. Hold on. What did he just do to the kicker? Dude is breakdancing out here and no penalty? What is that? They sent my kicker to the grave. Alright, Tulane. 
you want to be a playoff team, you got to, and they get a clipping call. Nice, nice, nice. Personal foul. Face mask. Face mask on Louisiana. Wow. So the refs completely Still fucking over Louisiana here. And now they're starting in very nice territory at the 46. Oh my god. And another first down. Reggie Brown with the catch. Michael Pratt, he is in the Heisman race. Decent day. He, he's really good on the ground. Got to watch out for him. On taking off the back foot to Reggie Brown. That's going to gain one. Clock is running. I'm not sure why they're not taking one of their three timeouts. And they're running out the clock. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh my god, this is horrific. They want to go to overtime. Oh no. Oh no. And they would have been in field goal range. Tulane, what are you doing? Oh my god, Tulane. They just completely choke. And we're headed to OT, baby. <laughs> All right. Tulane. <laughs> Tulane just wants to fucking lose, I guess. Yeah, dude, I called it. Make the handoff. He dumps it off to the running back. All right. Hey, we get to see some Darren Williams. Darren Williams is at the bottom of the screen. Covering number 82. That man is six fucking seven. This is just all leading up to another uh, Darren Williams choke. Just watch. Makes a handoff. Michael Pratt keeps himself in a big open field tackle there for number 38. Third down. Darren Williams at the bottom of your screen once again. Three men to the right side. He throws it that way and it's almost picked off. That would have just ended Tulane's season. And they're bringing out the field goal team. Fourth and eight. Kick is up. This is about a 40 yarder, and it is good. Tulane must have a great kicker. And look at SMU choke. Memphis has a terrible strength of schedule. All right, Louisiana, a touchdown wins it. Night air. All right, Finley for five. Well, yeah, but everyone points to SMU as the best game on his schedule. Just keep handing it to Finley. They hand it off to Finley again. This time he's stuffed. Oh, boy. Third and long. I mean, let's be honest. If it's you at 12 and one against Kansas State at 11 and one, I'm pretty sure we'd put in Memphis. I mean, I don't know. And they get the conversion. That is huge. Tulane, who's only lost to Coach Mike in Georgia Tech, may be losing to another user here. Can Dirty Bird pull it out? Ten yards away. Colton, he fakes a handoff. They're going to run option. And the guy misses the tackle, and they're going to lose. There goes the perfect 
chance at the college football playoff as Dirty Bird gets a top 25 win. What a win. And now there's no way Michael Pratt's winning the Heisman. What a shimmy. That's right. Fuck Tulane. <laughs> Jacob Bernard goes crazy. Tulane loses. Louisiana pops off. Coach Dirty Bird with a backup quarterback. Yeah, they deserve to lose on that clock management. That's that's just horrible. All right, Nider Finley, 66 yards, two tutties. And then let's see, Darren Williams. Darren Williams, he had himself five tackles. He didn't do anything else, so he shut down that side of the field. Yeah, man, like, you have three timeouts there, like... You're on the 50, like, what? I hate this game, man. <laughs> but nevertheless, that's the way the cookie crumbles. They shouldn't have even been in that situation, let's be, let's be honest. Alrighty. So now, can Coach um, B-Dog, can he get to bowl eligibility? He has a few great wins on the season. He's beaten BYU. He's beaten Mississippi State last week. Can he do it? I believe South Alabama is playing in the Sun Belt Championship no matter what. All right, B-Dog, let me know. Um, heads or tails, kick or receive. Ooh, boy, he wants the ball. The Jags here. The guys with fire extinguishers. <laughs> oh, my God. Lots of Southern Miss fans here traveling in. Let's hope. So he wants heads. All right. So you are kicking it. First quarter. South Alabama starts it out. I like the uh, bottom line thing for the for Alabama. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. But so Southern Miss gets a tutty. Oh, okay. They're holding them for field goals and they're scoring touchdowns. That's what you like to see. They get a touchdown back, but they have the lead at halftime. Next quarter. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Southern Miss, you need to stop turning the ball over. They're up three here. And they get a touchdown. What was that? Uh, it looks like that was a fumble. So, Southern Miss is up by 10. They're getting the ball back. And they score again, Southern Miss. They can f taste the bull. And that's going to do it. Southern Miss is going bowling, baby. What a game for Southern Miss. He will be playing a user in a bowl game. Frank Gore Jr., 36 attempts, 140 yards. The man is a beast. B-Dog quickly. And he has a new quarterback, and he has a new running back coming in. B-Dog quickly could be a problem here in the Sun Belt. But Sun Belt is a very good conference, so... Let's go, Southern Miss. That's a big one. All right, now here is where we need the SFA gods to save McNasty. 
if Una, if uh, if UNLV wins this game, they will be in the conference championship over McNasty. If San Jose State wins this game, then McNasty will have a chance to leave the conference winning his third straight in fourth and five years. Tutty tally implications. Wow. I'm winning Tutty tally. Dude, why is it like when we play in in uh, Allegiant Stadium in this game, is it so dark? Like, look how dark it is in here. Do they just not have lights? San Jose starts with a field goal. Come on, Sa San Jose State. Don't boo ball us, please. I want to see Garrett Grayson at least one more time. Uh, UNLV. Here we go. Oh, dear lord. 24 to 6. It's looking grim. It's looking grim for here for McNassy. He needs a late push. UNLV looks to be headed to the... to the Mountain West Championship... So McNassy will not win another one. Garrett Grayson will not win it in his senior year. Ouch. So that's just a quick L. <laughs> we don't need to stay there long. How do you have 42 rushing yards? What a terrible showing. From San Jose State. Boo. Boo. Mike is up next and he's already ready. This game has really no implications for Georgia. But for Georgia Tech, if he wants any chance of getting an at-large bid, I put it the crazy scenario that I came up with. So he wants. So you can't call the coin toss, but if you win it, I'll give you a receive. I mean, yeah. So Georgia, they can still get in the playoff with three losses, but they're probably going to be like a eight seed. It's at home, Georgia Tech in their uh, white uniforms. And you lose the toss. First quarter. A huge matchup here. Georgia starts out the scoring. Vandegrift is back for today, I believe. Yes, he is. Second quarter, Georgia goes up. Oh, dear, Georgia. All right, there you go, Georgia Tech battling back. Oh, God. 33 and one half is not really the way you want to. Uh, oh, no. Oh, they just keep getting stopped. Oh, oh God. 61 in three quarters. <laughs> oh, no. Georgia's looking to move up in the polls. <laughs> They're taking nothing. For granted here. Can they add more? Uh, a bit of a comeback there at the end to make it not look so bad. <laughs> oh, Coach Mike. 61 to 28. That is just... They chose violence today. Jeff Sims. I mean, they kind of end up having to throw it at the end, right? The defense once again chokes. Let's take a look. Vandegrift, four TDs, two interceptions in his return. Sheesh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that look like real Georgia Tech. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, so I think Georgia might get be getting a bump in the polls. I think we all thought that Georgia Tech was one of the best three lost teams. So, be interesting if now if they are facing Oklahoma next week for uh, SEC. All right, what game is up next here? Arizona State, Arizona. So Arizona State's locked up the Pac-12 South, but last year Arizona won this game and kept Arizona State gate kept from the playoff, basically, who had 10 wins. This year, they could do it again and make it so no auto bid is available for ASU. Tails and kick. Nice to see you, Rick. Welcome in. We got Pac-12 after dark here. Can Rick overcome the pesky Arizona, Arizona Wildcats? He wants tails and kick. He does not win the toss. All right, next quarter. A quick touchdown for Arizona State, something we've not seen from them this year. And Arizona State ends up taking the lead. And Arizona... Takes two scores. Arizona State's fighting back. There you go. All right, we're tied at half. This is all right. This is all right. Next quarter, a quick touchdown. They respond. And as we go to the fourth quarter, they did miss the extra point, though. So that could come. Yep, Arizona State takes the lead. And Arizona battles right back. Some quick score, some quick plays here. And they score. Alright, let's watch it. Oh, they're going for two. To go up three. Jared Lorenzen, the hefty lefty. He's going to throw. He throws it. That's a beamer. And he does not connect. Washington is who Arizona State will face next week for a chance at the playoff if uh, if ASU can hold on here. That Stanford game is not correct. We're going to watch that after this. Join Join to return. Return. All right, Arizona. Can they ruin Rick's dreams at a playoff another year? The kickoff is this one for a touchdown. You know, for Arizona at this point, and the way things are looking, there's going to be no chance for a team with two or more losses to get in uh, with, with an at-large game or with an at-large bid unless there's, like, some crazy uh, chaos. So I think their only chance is just to win the next two games. The pass ball is incomplete. Why was, was the intended, intended receiver, receiver on the play? play. That makes flame, no. It's all good, Flame. Thanks for sticking around. Remember, your game today, you were resting your players for next week against Arkansas. All right, they connect, and that is a first down. Arizona State only needs a field goal for Arizona. Gunner Cruz has five TDs on the day. Hand it off here. Still a lot of time to work with. Two minutes. Second and seven. Looks like they're going to run it again. And they do. It's a 
counter to the left side. Arizona State's not really playing much defense here. time yeets it okay now you got to start to worry if you're Arizona State here yeah definitely not good except we don't know how good Arizona's kicker is so it may not even be close to his range but the way this defense is playing it's not gonna matter Yeah, definitely not good. They're going to fake the handoff. He keeps it. He's going to easily get the first down and even more in there to the 10 now. So even the worst type of quarterbacks. We're pretty much in range here. So Arizona might break the heart of Rick two years in a row. <laughs> and watch him win the Pac-12 and not get into the playoff. That'd be such a Pac-12 thing as he breaks two tackles. At this point, don't you just got to let him score? Obviously, Arizona State's not programmed to call timeouts here because they're winning. But brutal, brutal. They need to force a turnover. Hand it off. Got to let him score here, and they do. All right, so the game is not over for Arizona State. I think that was actually a better scenario for them. So they're only up five. They're going to go for two to make it seven. Arizona State still has a chance, albeit not a great one. And he converts it. So Arizona State's best hope is to send this to OT. How big of an arm does Jared Lorenzen have? So that kick was out of the end zone. So they have a few, they have three timeouts. I'd say three plays here. Can the hefty lefty do something crazy? Start out on 25. Gonna be under center, that's an interesting. Uh, dumps it off, that's not gonna do you all that much. 12 seconds left. Only four seconds came off the clock. You need to at least get to the 50 for Hail Mary range, except Jared Lorenzen does have a massive arm. He can throw it 65 yards, I'd say. That is a duck, though, but hey, still have two timeouts. That'll bring up third and inches. 4 10 with six touchdowns. You could not blame me. Cannot blame the offense for this one. It's like they're going to go Hail Mary formation here. Oh, and he's sacked! No! Jared Lorenzen's pissed. Free rusher off the edge. You can't heave one with that. Five seconds left. They need to go 72 yards. And they're trying to get closer, but no, time runs out. So if they would have ran that play last time, it would have been good, but time runs out. Arizona State's going to fall to four losses. Ripping Rick's heart out two years in a row. They can still win the Pac-12 championship, but no playoff. Barring like, I mean, like, a four-loss team can still make the playoff, but it's actually going to be pretty unlikely considering this year's shakeup. Um, but if he does, like, decimate Washington by, like, 30 or 40, like, who knows, right? But, yeah, Tulane and Arizona State both choking today. But the hefty lefty putting on a show.
Jared Lorenzen, he popped off. I mean, best game of his career. But unfortunately, the, the defense just stunk it up today. That's a tough one. Alrighty, so this one has major playoff implications for NC State. Nothing much really for Syracuse. Both are locked out of the championship because they both lost to Clemson. So, but it's still a top game. I have Houston getting tutty tally. Um, where's the game? Heisman leader. Tulane got fucked by the NCAA logic. Uh, Arizona State just choked there. They're in the dome here. Alright, chill out there, Pinchot. Oh, Brandon Thomas. Yeah, that's going to be interesting tomorrow to see if he, uh, if he got injured or not. So Syracuse decides to receive an interesting choice here. And a quick touchdown from both sides. Oh, man, no defenses are being stopped here. So... And a quick touchdown for NC State. My god, these guys are popping off. And now it's slowing down a little bit here. NC State takes an 11 point lead. They get the ball and they do nothing with it. They score again. Looks like Syracuse is going to have a... So the two top uh, three loss teams in the country... They're going to four. All right, down 10. Nothing doing for Syracuse. All right, Houston. So NC State goes 10 and two. Got to see if that gets them into a... Uh... No! How do you have 178 yards and no touchdowns? Dude, if I lose to Pinstripe, I'm going to be heated. I intentionally picked Houston because he picked Houston. Fucking hell, man. Oh, yeah. Oh! He got a receiving TD. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Silas Red, Ben, Ben Whitaker. Oh man, I got saved by the SFA gods. Let's go. Suck on these nuts, Pinstripe. I knew he. Sh I knew there's no possible way. Ah oh, shoot, I didn't get Arizona State. Sorry, there's still plenty of time. You still have bowl game. You still have. Uh... All right, but what's next here? Okay, the last one of Bear Cave. Number one, if Michigan, honestly, let's be real here. If Michigan wins this game, they're going to. They're not going to the. Um, they're not going to the Big Ten championship or anything. But they'll probably be considered the best two-loss team. You know, they'll have the best win in the country. So, this is a big game for them. They have faint, faint hopes. The last game of Bear Cave on today. All right, Michigan. Can they get back to the playoff with Devin Gardner? One of my favorite SFA players. Next quarter, we are at Ohio State. They score. 
and defense is abundant here. And Ohio State goes up 14 nothing. Michigan's sucking ass. What else is new? 21-0. Michigan finally scores. Doesn't matter. It's going to be... Ugh. Ugh. Pain. Boo. So Ohio State basically is guaranteed a spot in the playoff at this point. Even if they lose to... Uh, So that was a bit of an L there. Yes. Gardner, three interceptions. Fuck you, man. Uh, just... L's all around. I think Ohio State's kind of on a war path this season. Yeah, they did. Um, there used to be a Michigan user. Alright, so he wanted NIU. NIU. Let me just do this. Shout out to <laughs> Fink for winning. Uh, Rudolph scored. Hampton. Yeah, no Ducker. And then preview of next week's games. This will be Sims. I'll, I'll post this game after the... Uh, after game day and I post all these other games. But no... Uh, Nothing crazy here. You got OU six and five. They're in the SEC championship no matter what. Both are bowl eligible, so nothing crazy. Alrighty. So that's gonna end the stream. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and then I'll start the uh, I'm gonna start the game day stream right away. Um, see you guys in a few minutes. Let's pop off. I forgot uh, we need a Nick Gritty. I forgot to do it at all. This barricade, my bad. <laughs> Alright. Be back in a sec.